stay true to who you are. And just allow the flow. Allow the flow. This is something, uh, and I mean, basically I'm speaking just to the people that are willing to listen. And I think that you people will be able to feel the message. And that's what it is, right? We gotta feel the message and see the message, message clearly, see it with clarity. So, uh, this is something that, like it or not, I mean, it is right now. Uh, <laughs> doing a lot. Either people with a lot of stuff. Either people are going to dig it or they're going to be triggered by it. Triggered in the wrong way, not triggered in the inspirational way. Because it's all perception. It's all uh, which side of the coin do we want to choose? Do we want to bring it in for the uh, greater good? Or do, we, do we want to uh, deflect it and act like it's not true? Or act like it's, uh, I mean, basically it's something we don't want to face inside ourselves. That's all it is. Neglect, deflect, or allow. Reflect and project what you want. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. Uh, random page. Because that's how we do. He will try to make sense of this consciously and subconsciously. Then these same smiling parents will tie him up in clothes and he'll be uncomfortable. He'll try to fight himself, but in vain. And his only way to protest will be to cry out. A cry of protest. A plea for help, a cry of indignation. At that moment, the angel and sovereign becomes a beggar, a beggar, a slave pleading for charity. The child is offered one attribute of the artificial world after another as a treat, a toy. A new toy, new clothes. And in this way, his parents will suggest that these objects represent what is most important in the world he has come into. And though, he, though he is still small, he is already the most perfect being in the universe. But they will speak baby talk with him. Treating him as if he were an imperfect being. In those institutions where you think teaching is going on, they will again speak to him of the virtues of the artificial world. Only as he nears nine will they mention in passing the existence of nature as if it were an appendix to something else, to the main thing by which they mean what is man-made. To the end of their days, most people are incapable of realizing the truth. You'd think it was a simple question. What is the meaning of life? Yet it remains unanswered. But the meaning of life lies in truth, joy, and love. A nine-year-old child raised by the natural world 
has more. Yeah, some of the translation here is a little Russian English. Has a more accurate awareness of the universe than the scientific institutions of your world and many scientists recognized by your society. So yeah, that's essentially uh, what happens whenever we are born into this world, raised into this society, taught to believe in certain things. And in that teaching of belief, People want to talk about how we're enslaved, how the archons, how the masters of control, the powers that be, how they are running the show. This is the step that we're missing here. We are taught this and we create this. And that is why we are in this situation collectively and subjectively within our own lives. Why we are where we are how we are. We have been taught to create this for ourselves. We can be taught. We can teach ourselves. We can unteach ourselves and decide how we want to essentially program ourselves. But it's not programming ourselves. It's re unlearning in order to be able to relearn in the correct way. And this is just simply the more accurate way, the more authentic way to feel and, and read nature, read all the life around you, understand the languages, the multi-language that is within everything, and it's felt. Once you, once you feel this language, you, you remember how to read it. And so this is kind of what we're uh, re-engaging here. The remembrance of the language of feeling and how that manifests in art and poetry and music in a free flow, even just in talking, a free flow of talking. That is, everything is an art form if we choose to perceive it that way, choose to make it that way. We have the choice. We have the choice to create what we want. And of course, there are going to be obstacles in the way. And it's up to us how we choose to navigate that. How we choose to perceive it. Realize what that is a manifestation of. The essence of the energy there. That's how you transcend it. You realize that these manifestations on the more physical plane, they're just expressions of something more essential. The energy of something being manifested for us to see. You choose your meanings in life. You choose your reality that you create up to you and it's up to all of us so let's uh let's create something good and true or not create whatever the fuck you want but we'll see what lasts <laughs> we'll see what has the true strength and the true power we'll see what redefines reality <laughs>